Good morning and welcome to Kid News, generously underwritten today by the Jones family of Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. To shout out David, who turns 14 today, Mom, Dad, Ben, Luna, and Esty are so proud of how you rock the guitar and play every position in hockey, all while doing great in school. Happy birthday, David. I'm Tori. Today is Monday, February 13th, 2023. And we begin with an epic back-and-forth, somewhat slippery Super Bowl battle ultimately going Kansas City's way. And that means the governor of Pennsylvania has to hang the flag of the Chiefs in his office for a solid week. The friendly bet followed a day of firsts, the first big game with two black starting quarterbacks, the first mom to have two sons play against each other, and the first pregame flyover by an all-women team of Navy pilots. The winning multi-million dollar ad? Everyone has an opinion, but the favorite image, for many, was of injured Bill safety DeMar Hamlin healthy enough to attend and remind everyone that in the end, it's just a game. His selfie in the end zone was captioned, ain't it a blessing? It's becoming a thing, the U.S. finding and removing unidentified floating objects from North American skies. Late yesterday, the U.S. military popped its fourth unwelcome aerial visitor, this time over the Great Lakes. The day before, an F-22 jet took down a device flying over Canada at Canada's request. And on Friday, the same type of plane deflated a meandering mystery over Alaska. At this point, the sender or senders is unknown. If you count the Chinese balloon disabled off of South Carolina, that makes four suspected spy gadgets in the past week or so, each cruising above us with a puzzle for a purpose. In all cases, attempts are being made to pick up the pieces and get answers. Kids in Auckland, New Zealand got an unexpected day off from school today, courtesy of Mother Nature. Cyclone Gabrielle began to bear down on the city over the weekend, prompting officials to adopt a better safe than sorry approach. Heavy rain was expected. Approaching winds were clocked as high as 140 miles an hour, and many airlines canceled flights just in case. Cyclones and hurricanes are basically the same, except hurricanes form in the northern hemisphere and spin counterclockwise, while cyclones form in the southern and spin clockwise. The storm is expected to last until tomorrow. A weekend of miraculous rescues in Turkey has provided slivers of hope amid the devastation. Two families and an elderly woman were pulled alive from the rubble Saturday, and 24 hours before, a 10-day-old baby and his mom were found. Each happy recovery leads to an on-site celebration, with emergency crews hugging and crying while onlookers cheer. The 7.8 quake and aftershocks that hit one week ago left thousands of buildings in ruins and millions homeless. Many countries are trying to help, including Mexico, which has sent search and rescue dogs, and the U.S., which deployed its military to provide medical care, food, and temporary housing. Call it karma, call it coincidence, whatever it is, it's a great story. Thirteen years ago, Juliette L'Amour of Ontario, Canada, emptied her piggy bank to help out the victims of another devastating earthquake, the one in Haiti. She was just five at the time and gave everything she had, $61.38. Fast forward to today, Juliette is 18 and just struck gold by winning Canada's lottery on her very first try. What's more, she had no plans to play. She was on her way to see her grandpa when she asked what kind of ice cream she should bring. Instead, he said, you just turned 18. Go buy a lotto ticket. Test your luck. So she did, and the rest is $48 million worth of lottery history. Juliet is in college and plans to go to medical school, now 100% debt-free. In today's Kid News Notes, a stunning turn of expectations for a baby in Scotland. Jamie Moore was given a 10% chance of survival when he was born, weighing a pound and a half. Now, at age four, he's considered a math prodigy. He can count in six languages, figure out how much his mom's groceries will cost, and do fractions, percentages, and equations. According to the Good News Network, he's been called everything from a genius to a savant. But so far, the official description is hyperlexia, meaning he can read and process well beyond the norm for his age. And a teenage skateboarding sensation is adding to her accolades. 14-year-old Sky Brown yesterday became Britain's first skateboarding world champion, adding global gold to the bronze medal she won at the Tokyo Olympics. 
That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz, generously sponsored by the Petron family of Arlington, Virginia, to shout out Adelaide and JT, who listen every day on their drive to St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School. Mom, Dad, Grandma, Office, and Sydney and Park C2 are so proud of you. Now, today's quiz. Who won the Super Bowl? The Kansas City Chiefs. How many unidentified floating objects has the U.S. taken down? Four as of late yesterday. How old is Britain's skateboarding world champion? Sky Brown is 14. A cyclone is basically a hurricane that happens where? In the Southern Hemisphere. In today's Kid News Kicker, she didn't know she'd be sitting next to greatness, and the moment it dawned on her is now internet famous. 12-year-old Gaia was courtside in San Francisco with her brother for Saturday's Warriors-Lakers game when an injured LeBron James in street clothes plopped himself down in the seat next to her. He was so close and so big, at first she could only see his shoes. But cameras caught her reaction as reality set in, hand over her mouth in disbelief, afraid to look in his direction. The broadcast team talked about it, and ESPN moved in for an interview. With LeBron next to her, Gaia called it the best moment of her life. And it got better. She got one-on-one -on -one LeBron time after the game, and he posted it all to social, saying, This is exactly why I love what I do. A shout-out to our episode sponsor, the Jones family of Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Happy birthday to David, and hello to all his friends at Sandy Run Middle School. And thank you to the Patron family of Arlington, Virginia, who made today's quiz possible. And a shout-out for our still-devoted Eagles fans, Adelaide and JT, as they make their way to school today. Hello to our other Kid News classrooms, including Mrs. Woods and her Titans at North Pembroke Elementary in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Mrs. Fry and her Eagles at Ronald McNair in Germantown, Maryland. And Mrs. Hackney and her Wildcats at Weiss Elementary in Woodhaven, Michigan. Thanks for listening. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.